Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team. Today I'm excited to share you a fun card layout that you can use with pretty much any stamp set or bundle. So I came across this idea online and I thought it was so cute. We'll call it a double decker card layout and it's kind of fun. You have your, your main card look and then you have another one inside that kind of flaps in there too. So you get kind of a double two for one opening there. Super fun. And I wanted to show you how to lay this out and put it all together. So I have my pieces here and I'll give you all the dimensions. So we're gonna start with a card base of eight and a half by five and a half, just a typical base. But we're going to score this at four and a quarter, so halfway and then also at two and an eighth. So I'll bring in my Stampin' Trimmer, and with my scoring blade, I'm just going to score that at four and a quarter and at two and an eighth. And then this is a familiar fold here. It's just going to be the fold in half and then fold back onto itself, just like that. I like to use a scoring tool and just get those lines nice and folded with my bone folder. Okay, next we're going to use a piece of three and a half by four and a quarter, and we're gonna score this at one half inch on the three and a half inch side. So, again, bring in our stamp and trimmer, and we're just going to, I'm gonna flip it this way, and we're just going to score at one half inch here, just like that. And we'll fold that crease just like that. Next, what we're going to do is adhere this piece into our card base. So we're going to just put Stampin' Seal. You could also use Stampin' Seal Plus or Tear and Tape if you want a little bit of a stronger hold. And we're just going to take right on the inside of our card at the um, middle crease, we're going to adhere this down on this side of that crease. Just like that. So then, this is what your card will look like when it's closed, and then as you open it, that flap will open too. Okay, and then we have three other pieces. Now these are going to be kind of the pieces that you'll decorate on your um, card. So we have one piece that is two and a half by four. That's going to be on the front. And then I have two pieces at four by two and three quarters. So one of these is going to go on the inside of my little double flap, and the other is going to go on the inside of my card. So we'll put those in too, and I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to first do my one that's gonna go on the flap. That's gonna be the easiest one to just know where to line up, just like that. And then we'll come and do the one in the front. Now this is gonna be the smallest one, the two and a half by four. And we're going to put this right on the front of our card. So this piece, we're going to only wanna put adhesive on this far side so that when we put it down, it's not going to stick on the side we don't want it to. So the adhesive is just gonna go on that far side. And then when you put this down, you just wanna cover up the piece that is already on our orange piece you can see back there. So then when you open it, that's what it's going to look like. Now, for our last piece, this is gonna go on the inside here. We are gonna put adhesive on all of it. And the way that we're gonna line that up, I'm going to center this onto my orange piece here, just like that. And then I'm just gonna bring this back flap to come and meet it. And then I know it's going to be centered right where I want it and it's going to be hidden by my middle flap piece. So let me show you the card that I created using this color scheme. So I use the Changing Leaves stamp set and die bundle and I made this cute fall kind of looking card. So we have thank you, and then on my middle flap, I couldn't have done it without you, 
And then on the inside, you could write your little message there to somebody. So just like that. It's kind of a fun and different idea to add a little bit more to your card. For more detailed instructions on how to do this card layout, make sure you go and check out our blog at stampingjill.com and we'll have a post up there. And the link for that will be in the description of the video. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.